Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard, and today I want to talk about how to convert your white fat into brown fat. You know, brown fat, you all probably heard our ancestors had a lot more brown fat. Animals have a lot more brown fat, which is why they can stay outside in the winter and not get cold. Uh, babies have a lot more brown fat, but something happens as we go into our modern life where we start losing our brown fat unnecessarily. And there's a lot of research now coming, taking place that's showing how we can actually convert our white fat, which is very metabolically active. Our white fat literally releases calories into the system, can make us um, more at risk of diabetes and metabolic issues related to obesity and heart health issues and things like that. Um, in fact, a very big study uh, came out just this January uh, 2021 uh, in the journal uh, Nature, Nature Medicine, and it found that that um, they measured 50,000 people and they found that, that when you have more brown fat, there was a significant reduction in issues like blood sugar, um, obesity, um, uh, heart failure, coronary artery disease, and cholesterol issues like that. So that it was a really big study that said, wow, you really want to see if what you can do to boost more brown fat. Brown fat burns up sugar. It uses sugar to make insulation, where the white fat actually releases sugar into our system, which makes us more vulnerable to, of course, blood sugar-related issues. And it doesn't insulate at all, which is why people get so cold and get colder when they, when they, uh, when they get older and, and that becomes a problem, right? So one of the ways to boost brown fat is calorie restriction. You know, not eating as much food. One study showed that if people just ate uh, about 20% less food than they normally eat. There was a significant increase in brown fat, which was linked to longevity and decrease in metabolic issues. Cholesterol again, weight gain around the belly, um, blood sugar issues, even hypertension as well. So, so boosting up some brown fat, eating less food. One study showed that Americans eat 100% more food than we, than we need. Um, which means that we eat 100% of the food we need, and then we go and eat an extra 100% more than we need. And if you could just reduce your food intake by 20%, that's 20% off the extra 100% you don't need can make massive changes in your health, according to the science. Really well studied. In addition, we're moving into the springtime. Right around the corner is spring, and and that's where we look at um, nature providing very minimal nutrition. All the fastings take place in, in most of the religions in the spring, causing a natural calorie restriction, causing a natural fat burning. The bugs in your gut change in the spring to be more, um, to more able to burn fat and fiber as opposed to in the summer where at the end of the summer it's carbs and starches because that's when it's all being harvested, right? So we really need to make those changes. So this is a great time to do sort of Ayurvedic, um, Ayurvedic uh, uh, intermittent fasting where you have a breakfast and a lunch, could be a later lunch, and then skip supper. And that's the circadian way to do it. A lot of intermittent fasters, they skip breakfast and have a dinner and a, and a lunch, which is more socially appropriate. But for a little while in the spring, you know, if you want to link up your circadian rhythms, which is a good idea, then you can do breakfast and lunch and a small or a light supper as part of your intermittent fasting. A really great way to go. Other foods that are really good that have been shown to boost um, brown fat. There's a chemical, an acid called ursolic acid. It's in um, a handful of foods. Like it's really powerful in Tulsi. It's the main one of the main ingredients in our Tulsi holy basil, which is powerfully used to. Um, to increase fat, uh, brown fat versus white fat, which is pretty cool. But your solic acid is also in rosemary and thyme and lavender and peppermint. So you know, those kinds of teas and spicing your food with those things are ways you can get more brown fat, right? Something that we don't do a lot of spicing of our food. And the herbs that are really good are Tulsi. A turmeric's been shown to boost brown fat in a powerful way. I wrote a whole article on turmeric and brown fat on my website at lifespot.com. Also, there's an article about all these different ways to change your white fat to brown fat at lifespot.com. Um, and that's, uh, so check that out. That's actually coming very, very soon. Um, and, uh, uh, and, um, and then there's green tea uh, and ca capsicum, which is cayenne pepper. Those have all been used also to increase brown fat as well, which is pretty cool. 
Exercise, right? Everybody knows exercise is really important. Exercise is really good for us. Exercise has been shown once again to increase brown fat. So regular exercise is really critical. And uh, they show that once you exercise for a period of time, like I think it was 10 weeks, that if you once you get the ball rolling, you continue to boost your brown fat even after the 10 weeks of exercise. So exercise just needs to be a way of life. And then exercise in the cold in the winter is another way to amp up. Studies have shown that when you add the exercise and the cold together, so you exercise out in the cold, that's another powerful way to boost your brown fat, which is pretty cool. So with winter still here, get out and start doing more of a, or you know, in the colder days, you know, don't dress so warm, but, you know, let your exercise warm you up. And that's a great way to uh, boost your brown fat as well. And then, um, and then just getting cold immersion, getting out in the cold. One study showed that when people were uh, in 60 degree temperature for uh, six hours a day for 10 days, there was a massive increase in brown fat and increase in, decrease in blood sugar and, and regulation and blood sugar stability and all of that took place as well. So just um, doing that. And one way to do that is you know, uh, turn the temperature down when you sleep at night. Uh, studies have shown you sleep better and melatonin is produced better. Uh, when you sleep so you get better deeper more functional sleep and that's really important as well but also just being able to be comfortable in the cold uh, Wim Hof has made this very very popular with cold showers and cold you know cold baths and ice baths and all of that and I think that's a really great way to acclimate your body to doing it brown fat turns to be act turns out to be activated by the sympathetic nervous system so when you stress the body the brown fats the reaction and if you stress the body for cold, the body will produce more insulation. It happens, it's very real, and it's how we respond. And um, so, you know, one of the techniques for doing that is to start with a warm shower, end with a cold shower, and keep trying to work your way into more of a, more, a, a longer period of a cold shower where you can eventually even take a full on 10 minute cold shower and see how you do with that. And then begin to sort of almost in some weird way look forward to it. Um, you know, and that also sort of does depend on your constitution. If you're very vata, be careful because you've got a cold body type. And if you're in the cold season, you're adding more cold, that can aggravate your vata. So you need to go into that cold kind of exposure with some stability and some balance that's really important from the Ayurvedic perspective. And then finally, melatonin. Melatonin has been actually shown to boost your uh, brown fat levels. One study showed that when uh, people were given uh, melatonin, just three milligrams per day for um, three months, um, there was a significant uh, increase in brown fat, reduction in, in blood sugar, uh, stability in the insulin level production, reduction in insulin, and support of all the issues related to metabolic syndrome, which has to do with things like um, you know, extra weight around your belly and blood sugar instability and cholesterol levels being a little bit out of whack. So this really does uh, support you as well. And it does sort of make sense because melatonin is more of a reset of the circadian clock. And when you can reset the circadian clock, um, you can um, have an effect on so many different systems in your body. We now see that it regulates your brown fat. It regulates your uh, your ability to, to produce what's called glutathione, which is a detoxifier of your, your body made in your liver. It regulates your microbiome. It, it's the night watchman melatonin is at night because when you get cold at night, bugs that are opportunistic take advantage of that and melatonin says, no, 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 not on my watch. It's a natural protector against the opportunistic proliferation of bad bacteria. I mean, I did a podcast on melatonin with a melatonin researcher. You get it, you check that out on my website at lifespa.com with uh, uh, Paula Witt Enterby, and she did research on how melatonin can reverse osteoporosis, breast cancer, it protects you from prostate cancer. I mean, the science on melatonin is overwhelming. You don't hear a lot about it because the science, because you know, you can, you, you know it's over the counter, but uh, it's really, really powerful. And so understanding the benefits of melatonin, uh, and I've written a lot of articles on, you know, melatonin and low-dose melatonin, where you take just a very, very tiny bit. A lot of people who use melatonin, they, they, they don't have a good reaction, and it's not because they need more, which America gives you 10, 20, 30 milligram dosages of stuff, which is so much more than you need. And the research now is showing that 
we actually probably need less, not more. So read my articles on low dose melatonin as well. So there you have it. Those are the ways to do it. You know, start looking at calorie restriction, you know, eating the right foods, Tulsi holy basil, turmeric, you know, green tea, you know, peppermint thyme, rosemary, all these things uh, are, are really very effective um, as well. And um, apple peels, I didn't mention, oh my gosh, apple peels are really important. The skin of the apple, that waxy sheath on the apple and some fruits, that's the that's the eosolic acid that activates the, the brown fat. So, you know, wa get organic apples, wash them a little, but try to keep that waxy coating on there because the peels are where the rubber meets the road. And the peels also have chemicals in there to support and stabilize blood sugar. If you're sensitive to apples from the sugar perspective, the peel is what protects you. So to kind of need the whole package it creates the balance. Um, and then of course, you know, the exercise, exercising in the cold, and then looking at at melatonin as a possibility to actually boost your brown fat. And also melatonin has been approved for COVID these days. So now more and more reasons why people should be thinking about that, particularly now uh, as we move through, you know, these sort of crazy times. All right, check that out at lifespa.com. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Diard. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and share. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.